Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to talk about SPOC. So SPOC is a very comprehensive and specification based testing framework that is used to write unit test cases for Java and Groovy code. And it also helps in automating many of the boring and repetitive tasks and also helps in automating many of the manual processes that we normally perform in our day-to-day -day software application testing. People used to say that it is super set of G unit because it normally provides many of the feature taken from either it is taken from JBHAP or JMOC because it helps to make Spock as an enterprise testing framework where it unites the development testing and also involve the business people because it have the nature of JUnit that is a quite famous testing framework for Java and Groovy we can say and JBHAB is a BDD framework that normally provides a very a readable kind of and in another way we can say that it provides a specification and in general a specification is defined as a detailed description of design or any material to make something and that is why it makes application testing quite easy and quite commandable and JMOC feature also included in Spock and it also provides quite good mocking and stubbing processes in Spock. So Spock is the combination of three existing testing libraries into the market. So let's talk about why do we need Spock. So the very first thing is learning curve. Spock is quite easy to learn because if you are familiar with Java or you are a little bit familiar with JUnit then you can start writing your Spock test cases and whenever something fails in Spock it provides a very detailed information about any of the failure and whenever we are writing a Spock test then we normally write a very readable kind of method name or we normally use the code those are quite similar to English and it is quite readable and the best thing is it is written into the groovy and that is why it have most of the groovy DSL features that make it quite dynamic and better framework to use and it is based on the J unit and due to this its integration with most of the available IDEs is quite easy and apart from this it also supports most of the build tools like Maven and Cradle. So this is all about the Spark framework.